Do you know who makes the most stylish, decent quality jeans? Because if you do, then maybe you should be making this video and not me because I don't know yet. What I do know is I've got six pairs of jeans to rate in this video from brands that are well known for their jeans. Well, five of them are and one pair is from a luxury brand whose jeans cost a fortune, but I wanted to see if the extra price is worth it. So why am I doing this video, you might ask? Well, even if you didn't ask that, I'm gonna tell you anyway. But basically, I'm looking for a couple of new pairs of jeans to add to my wardrobe, and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have found some that I love. Hopefully I don't fall in love with all of them because I do want some of my money back. But yeah, I'm very excited about this video. I think it's gonna be a belter, and maybe some of the jeans will need one in this video if they don't fit properly. Get it? A belt, jeans? No? <laughs> okay. Anyway, for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 31 inch waist. If you like this video at any point, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the jeans. So we're going to start off with the space jeans from weekday first. These come in at £50, which I think is a great price for a nice pair of jeans, providing they're nice, of course. If they're gross, then £50 is just a waste of money. But let's have a look at them on. So I sized down in the waist with these to a size 30, but I went for my regular length, a size 32. From my experience, weekday usually runs big. So if you're thinking about picking up a pair, I'd recommend that you size down a waist size. And just to let you know, links to everything from this video will be in the description box. So the quality on these isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. They feel like I'd expect a £50 pair of jeans to feel. They fit me well, but they're a little bit too baggy for my liking. And also the crotch area is not something that I like. They just look a little bit sloppy for my liking. They've also got a button up fly. So to the people that hate button up flies, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't mind a button up fly, but I know a lot of people hate them. And as someone said in last week's video, at least with a button up fly, you don't get your bits all caught up in it, so they have their positives. I think for the price, these are decent enough, but they don't impress me much. Shania Twain. So these are going to get a 7 out of 10 from me. They're solid for the price, but just not a pair that I'd wear. So next up, we've got the Levi's 501 93 version. And if you saw last week's video, then you'll know why I've got the 93 version. But if you haven't seen that video, basically the 93 version just fit me better. Now I picked these up for just under £60. I did get them in the sale, but I believe they retail for £85 originally. But if you pick up a second-hand pair of Levi's, you can get them for an absolute bargain. And right away, the quality quality on these for me is a lot nicer than the weekday pair. They feel a lot softer and a little bit thicker too. I actually sized up in the waist with these to a size 32 and I shouldn't have with this particular pair. Sizing's always all over the shop with Levi's. I've got another pair of 93s in a 32 waist and they fit me perfectly. So I was hoping that these would fit the same. But of course not. Don't be silly. Clothing companies never make sizing easy, do they? But I love the way these look on me and I love the colorway. I think they're a beautiful pair of jeans. Like the last pair, these do have a button-up fly, so to the button-up fly haters out there, you might want to check out another pair like the 505s. I believe they've got a zipper, but yeah, you might want to check that. I don't think you can go wrong with Levi's. I love the cut of them. I love the way they look, and for the price, I think they're incredible. But if you can't tell already, then I'm definitely going to be keeping these. I love them. So I'm actually going to give these a 9 out of 10. I love the style, and the price is great, but the sizing can be a pain. Next up, we've got a pair of jeans from Nudie. Now, a lot of people talk talk about Nudie in the comment section of my videos, so I had to pick up a pair for this video. They're a brand that I've known about for years and years, but I've never bought anything from them. They're a really great brand when it comes to sustainability, and I really want to like these jeans, so let's have a look at them. So these are their Rad Rufus jeans, and I picked them up in a size 32, 32. I should have gone for my regular size in these, a size 31 waist, because there's plenty of room in the thigh area, but the waist is a little bit too big, so I would recommend you go true to size with these. But unfortunately for me, the material on these feels exactly the same as the weekday pair, but they're three times the price. Now, there's no doubt about it. These jeans are going to be made a lot better than the weekday jeans, but they just don't feel like an £150 pair of jeans to me. In my opinion, the fit on these is possibly the worst on me out of all the jeans on this list. But even if I went for my correct size with these, the crotch is too big, they lack shape, they're too long, and yeah, they're too wide fitting as well. They just don't do it for me. I really wanted to love these, but sadly, 
I don't. It might sound a little bit harsh, but they just don't do it for me. And I'm sorry, Nudie, but these are going back. I'm going to give these a 6 out of 10. I love what the brand are doing, and the free repairs are nice, but these aren't for me. Next, we've got the 1996 jeans from one of my favorite brands, Acne Studios. I picked these up in a size 31, 32, and they fit me great. And in my opinion, these are definitely the best quality so far. They've got a nice thickness to them, but they're still soft, and they're so comfortable. They've got some really nice details, like that pink stitching. I love little details like this. That really does it for me. And yeah, it just takes the jeans to the next level. Now, the downside to these is they do cost around £250, which is a lot of money for a pair of jeans. Personally, I'd rather spend extra on a pair of jeans that I love and know I'll wear a lot rather than £50 on a pair of jeans that I don't really like and don't feel comfortable in. But I do love these and I can see myself wearing them a lot. So for me, they are worth the price. I'm 100% going to be keeping these. I love the cut. I love the length of them. The bagginess is perfect. They're comfortable. They fit me really well in the thigh area, which is an area that I struggle with with jeans. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. And I'm sorry to say again, but to the button haters out there, these have got a button fly again. So yeah, sorry to disappoint you. So I'm going to give the acne jeans a 10 out of 10. I can't fault them. They're spot on for me. They are a little bit expensive, so that's where I could fault them. But yeah, acne fanboy, 10 out of 10. So next up, I've got the 105 straight leg jeans from Oslo. I've been wanting to try these jeans out for ages now and some people might say I've been a bit slow to pick up a pair. They're made from Japanese denim which is very exciting. I love the way they look online so let's try them on. So I picked these up in a size 2 and they fit me perfectly. On the downside they are very expensive. They do cost around £270 but they fit really nicely and they've got some nice details. The wash on these jeans is interesting but I don't know if it's for me. It might be a little bit too light for me. Again they've got a button fly and that's about it. Would I choose these over the acne pair? I'm not sure if I would. I am a bit of an acne fanboy, but I might pick up a pair of these further down the line. Who knows? I do really like them. So I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. They're solid. I love the fit, but the colorway isn't for me. But that's my fault for picking it. Next up, we've got the luxury pair of jeans from Marnie. And these are the only jeans with a zipper. But don't get too excited. These come in at £450. But is the extra money worth it? Well, I'd hope so, but let's have a look. They have got some nice details like that white colour fading on the inside of the jeans, but is that worth £450? Not to me. Hopefully the fit will be something special. Actually, let's hope it's horrible because I want to save my money. But let's have a look at them on. So I picked them up in a size 32, 32 and they fit me perfectly. So I would recommend going up a size with these. And as you can see, these are more cropped than the other pairs on this list. And that's not something I'm into these days. From the pictures online, I did think they'd be a little bit longer. I thought that model would be about six foot two. But yeah, that's my fault. I should have checked out the measurements. But they are too short for me. The material feels okay, but nowhere near as good as the Acne pair, and I also prefer my 501s to these. So are they worth £450? Well, not for me. I honestly think you're just paying for the name here and you're not getting your money's worth with these jeans. But these are 100% going back and to be honest with you, I'm over the moon about that. I'm going to give these a 5 out of 10. I just wouldn't spend that kind of money on them and there's better options in the video. So for me, there's two winners here, Acne Studios and Levi's and then I would recommend Oslo as well. I think they were great jeans. So I hope you found that video useful and you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.